this is Xander G02, and today we're going to be talking about mitosis and meiosis. So first we're going to go into, it'd be nice if the door would work for once. So, we're going to be talking to this villager right here, and he likes to run off like a little uh, person. So, we're going to be talking to him about how meiosis and mitosis works. First, what he's going to explain to us is the cell cycle. Okay, go on, villager. Teach us about the cell cycle. Okay, go on. Can you, like, do anything? Oh. Okay. So, you're not going to help me, eh? Okay. So, you're not going to help me. So, that means you're useless right now. So we're gonna put you off to the corner right there. Don't worry, he's not dead, he's just sleeping. So, we're not gonna be using any special scientific items, we're not gonna be using a chemistry station, and we're not gonna be looking down at a microscope. Which is messed up, because it looks like it's staring at a piece of stone, and I don't see what the microscopic properties of stone have to do with anything right now. So, we're gonna be talking about the cell cycle. The cell cycle has mitosis and meiosis a part of it, which is really what I'm supposed to be talking about. So, what happens is that at the start of cell division, there is mitosis and the M phase. And this starts off the cell cycle. Cell cycle. So it's mitosis and psychokinesis, which basically go in a giant circle. Let's say this glass block right here is the start. Goes up into the G phase when it starts its cell growth. And it's going to head on next to this, where it's going to be the S phase, where the DNA is copied. And for both, all these items to happen, like right here, it takes 0 0.5 hours for that to happen. It takes 12 hours up here, 6 hours up here. And six more hours down here for the G2 phase, which is the growth and preparation for cell division, which will take us right back to psychokinesis and mitosis, which is the M phase and cell division. And the complete cell cycle takes about 24 hours in typical animal cells. So, what we're going to start off with is something super easy today, which is mitosis. Mitosis after the interphase is cell growth DNA which is after the cell growth and DNA replication eukaryotic cell undergoes mitosis there are four steps of mitosis the prophase the metaphase and the anaphase oh and I nearly forgot the telophase with these we have the prophase starting us off with the chromatin condenses into chromo chromosomes and the nuclear em envelope breaks down breaks down and the centrioles move to opposite poles of the cell and begin spout, sprouting spindle fibers. Like, let's take this lead into instance. It is connected to this sheep, which makes it that it's connected to spindle fiber. That's what I'm going to say right now for about that, because I can find a way to connect these two. Oh no, you're not leaving. You're my pet now. But... And when they move to opposite poles, it will kind of look like this. Let's say these two fence posts are the centrioles, and this G and the uh, dark oak wood around here is the uh, is the cell. With the metaphase, the chromosomes line up at the center of the cell, and the spindle fibers from centrioles attach. Kind of like how the sheep is helping me with pulling it right next to this, and. From that, the spindle fibers from centrals attach, basically, like I already said. And what will happen in the anaphase is that these two things right here are going to be split apart and pulled right into these both right here. Basically, just taking them out. The sister chromatids are separated and pulled by spindle fibers to opposite sides, or otherwise known as opposite poles. And the telophase... The chromosomes at each end begin to unwind and lose distinct shape. So, let's say putting dark oak right here. They're starting to lose shape. 
and the spindle vipers dissolve, which is what already happened. And what happens is that two new nuclear membranes are formed, like these two wood pieces right here were recently formed. Uh, an easy way of showing this, uh, it also with cytokinesis, which is after mitosis, the cell divides, divides the cytoplasm during cytokinesis. Cell membrane pinches together completely and fuses. And one cell becomes two, which is what happens right here. So, with this, we have the topic of meiosis. And if you'll let me walk in here, it's going to. Sorry, let me rewrite. So, with mitosis, that's in between. I think mitosis is in between two animals. So, no, 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 it's not. Yeah, it is. Let me double check my information. So, and so, mitosis is kind of like, let's say, two people having a baby. They get together and they love each other very much and they do whatever they want. And we're gonna say that this gold armor chest plate and this iron chest plate work together. The gold is weak, but is very pretty, while the iron may not be as pretty, but is much stronger. With these two together, you can make, with these two together and they make a new kid, it takes half the DNA from both of them. So, split down the middle, we make something that is beautiful, but is also strong, like a diamond chest plate. Okay. Now, let's get into meiosis. So, with meiosis, it consists of two separate cell divisions, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2, which is kind of confusing, but not really at the same time. And with meiosis, it basically has prophase 1 and 2, metaphase 1 and 2, anaphase 1 and 2, and telophase 1 and 2 with psychokinesis, which may sound like something that use your, uses your big brain, but not really. What we're going to first do is go into meiosis 1, which prophase 1 is basically crossing c over occurs, mixing of genetic materials. And metaphase 1 is chromosomes line up at middle of cell. So if we go back over here, if it will let me, it will do something like this again. Anaphase 1 is the chromosomes separate, so I'm I'm not going to spend enough time doing that. With telophase 1 and psychokinesis, where two daughter cells are formed, which is what happened right here. Meiosis 1 is a giant thing. It's It looks almost exactly like mitosis, but they're two totally separate things because one thing comes from one cell and one thing comes from a separate cell. Uh, so we have prophase 2. Prophase 2 has the same exact thing in meiosis 2 and everything. Metaphase 2 is the chromosomes line up at the middle, of course, again, and the anaphase is chromatids separate to opposite sides of the cell. With telophase 2 and psychokinesis, a total of four new cells are formed, each containing the haploid n number of chromosomes, which we can show right here with sper spermatonin. Gene genius, sorry, I can't word, which we're going to say that these right here are, I don't know, cells, like the all the cells that you need. And what happens is that the first giant one splits into, one, into two smaller ones, and from those two smaller ones, it creates two sperm cells, I mean, two sperm cells from this one and two sperm cells from this one, with Oogenus, it produces only one egg cell, which is this diamond in the rough over here, and three polar bodies, which will die off, which is going to be this lapis over here, and not very many people like it. So, that happens. What, the conversation with mitosis versus meiosis is mitosis, it begins with one diploid cell, meiosis also begins with one diploid cell. Mitosis does produce 
it produces two genetically identical diploid cells, while meiosis produces four genetically different haploid cells. And with mitosis, it occurs in somatic body cells, while it occurs in reproductive precursor cells for meiosis. Which kind of sounds weird, but it's not. So, that's going to be the end of it today. And before we end off, we are going to go kill this zombie that's been annoying me for a while. So, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to say have a good day, all you people. Bye.